How's it going, guys? Welcome to another episode of Spurverts, the show where we talk about everything that has us absolutely excited to be Spurs fans. Yeah. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Reese, guess what? Um, you've learned how to pronounce anyone's name? That! But also, this week, or should I say just the weekend gone, I went to Carrington Road. Now, if you don't know where Carrington Road is, it is in Manchester. Why it did is you Manchester. Do that, mate? It was Ma I went on behalf of Adidas and JD Football. The video will be out soon. You guys can all see that. Personally, I'm loyal to Spurred On. What, what, what do you mean? I won't leave North London. I had a plan. Unless you have a, a gig plan. for me or any kind of money and I'll be there. I was setting up booby traps. Right. You know, they got training yeah. coming up. I had to get in there, see how they train. I like it. Get stuff, look at their little whiteboards. Yeah. That was the plan. Anyway, I went there. And the reason I'm excited about it is not because I was, you know, at Manchester United's training ground. It's because Hotspur Way is much, much better than Carrington Road. Now, Hotspur Way is really? our training ground in Enfield. And it's pretty beautiful. What's better about it? Why is, why is their one so uh, bad? So at Hotspur Way, we have fingerprint technology to get in. The players have Very their cool. own unique fingerprints. Uh, we also yeah, have... That's, that's how fingerprints work. You know, uh, we have <laughs> loads of multiple heated pitches that we spent about two to three million on. Yep. Man United only have one and they only got it this Sad. summer. Sad. Catch up. Like, Tragic. I know they've been around for 20 years, your training ground, and ours is only a couple years old, but still, you've got to catch up. We've got beautiful trees, our gardener does his <laughs> thing perfectly. Everything about our so state, we may our not ground have, is much better. We may not have the best players just yet, Why you but we've got the anything? best gardener in the Premier League. Yeah, and our training ground, that plays a big part in our yeah. future. No, that's it's a big reason, future, big future. That's the reason a lot of these kids that we're playing are just getting really good, because we've got yeah. good training facilities. Best facilities, And that's the reason Zimaria is leaving. Falcao left because their training facilities are just not up to scratch. That's why. That's the only reason why. Anyway, <laughs> let's go on to our next topic of Spurverts, and it is the Spurs youth beating Stevenage 2-0. Yes. They called it the Spurs 11. Maybe it was just nah, a mix of different... it was the kids. It was, it was the, just kids. the kids, wasn't it? So We're not going to waste. We're not going to waste the gold, the A-team, Kane, yeah. Ericsson, Who are Chadley. basically kids themselves. Yeah, right. we're not wasting them against yeah. Stevenage. There's levels to these kids, as you exactly. can see. Exactly, yeah. Um, who was the guy that scored? I know you know uh, a bit about the youth. A Adoa? Yeah. Did he score? Adoa? Adoa? Oh, yeah. I don't know if we're saying that right. I mean, for the first time, I'm in doubt about pronouncing a name. I'm going to give this to you. How do we pronounce his name? Nathan? Adoa. Adoa. We're going to go, go with Adoa. Adoa. He, he looked class. Right. Apparently, I didn't see the game. I've read a lot about it. Apparently, he looked absolutely quality. Mm. He did go off injured with concussion, but apparently he's fine. And that's good because he looks quality. And we yeah. are very short of strikers, potentially, mm. at the moment, uh, with a few potentially on the way out. So, Adoa, maybe you're going to be saving our backs when we fail to sign Hernandez. Uh, another good thing about it as well is that we beat Teddy Sheringham. You know, he's yeah. the manager of Stevenage right now. He was a legend for Spurs. But Great guy. Love Teddy Sheringham so much. Much. Always Still remember. To beat him though. Yeah, always remember a goal he scored in. I think it was the Worthington Cup at the time, where uh, just an amazing. Actually, it was an assist. Just came to him, just an amazing chest across, and then volleyed into the top corner. It was amazing. Can't remember any other information about it, but just that chest because I was just looking at it. It was right there. Teddy, amazing. you're a legend. All right, Teddy. Last topic of Spurvers is Saldado. Yes, yes, yes. Robert Saldado, aka Bobby, Robert, aka yeah, the who worst. Who is Saldodo? I mean, I don't AK, know what you're AKA saying. AKA the worst striker <laughs> that ever graced Tottenham's pitch ever is now leaving apparently. Villarreal, uh, eleven million. Yeah, that's a, that's a good bit of money. Bit of a hit, but I think like eleven million. That's a lot. If someone's paying awful. that for Bobby, that's fair enough. He's I mean, terrible. finally, the old dog has found a new kennel. Oh, and I'm oh. feeling good about it. He's gone. Hopefully. I feel so sorry for him, but um, I, he does have Why? to go. Why does he's everyone go. feel sorry for this guy? Because he's like, he, he really, he's trying hard. How many goals he did he score to... in open play in two years? Oh, not enough. Obviously not enough, but he doesn't, oh, he's a nice man. He's I'm a nice man. sentiment for this guy. He's gone. Bless he's him. gone. Anyway, guys, this has been Spurverts. Make sure you keep an eye out for part two. And also make sure you leave a comment. Uh, follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. And we'll see you next time. Hello, welcome to part two of Spurverts, things that have got us excited to be Spurs fans. Uh, this week, kind of excited, but not really sure about the potential signing of Yarmolenko. Yeah. Uh, plays in the Ukrainian league, 